Hello and welcome back to our final video, the video that we're going to publish the website and get the product live and time to reap our rewards, okay? Now, before we go and do that, here's one more thing. As you can see, I still in our preview page where the page is loading from our system and we don't have the button image, but we can see sending there and that our button is not center. Okay, so but if we click here, you can see we get taken to the the buy now page where people can pay for the product. You know, they just log in and pay, or they can pay with the credit card. Okay, there it goes. Now let's do put that button on a center position so it appears on the right place. So we go back to composer. And here is the button. So all we need to do basically is just go up here and click center to center the button. There it goes. Click save again. Okay, save. And now we can close composer because we are ready to publish. Okay. Next step is we go back to our folder. We're going to double click. Double click again. Here is our folder. And now what we're going to do, let's preview again, just so to make sure that that button is now centered. Okay. And you can see it is centered. Now we can close this one. And now we're going to log in into our control panel. So we're using HostGator. So if you, if you want to use cPanel, is one of the best for this job. Okay. So let's log in. So username and password. So obviously this is blurred because we need to hide this. Click login. And here it is, our host get the control panel. We scroll down and go to file manager. So the domain, our domain is already selected there and show hidden files and we click go. And that takes you exactly to the to the exact server location where we want to be. So next step, let's go back to our new folder again. We go and go one step back, just one step. We're gonna right click and we're gonna add to archive as a zip file. So we're gonna leave it in there as well so we know where it is. Okay, we click OK and there it goes. There is our zip file. So we need to zip it to upload it to our server. Now we go back to our server to the live server. This is your live server. And we're going to do, we're going to click on the upload button. Now we're going to find the file. So choose file. Again, remember, like we did in previous videos, we're going to find the desktop file. Okay, desktop. Again, the new folder. We double click it. We double click it again. And again, so we go one step back just to make sure we're uploading the site that we changed. We click on that and we click open. And there you go. So wait a couple of minutes here until it says it's complete. Okay, when it says complete, we click here to go back to that directory. Now we find our folder here. We can see the zip file here. And what we're going to do now is click extract. Okay, extract to that domain, yes, extract files, is done, and now we can delete this one, and delete files. Now to find the folder, all we need to do is reload, okay, and there is the folder, okay, double click it to open, okay, there is all the files, you can see how our files are showing there, okay, now all we need to do now is just transfer these files uh, to, and put them under the domain. Okay, to do this, all we do is select them all using the control key on your keyboard and then right click and use the move button. So I click move and we want that to be under our domain. So we move the directory from here because we want to put them under our domain and move files. Okay, now you can see that we already had some files here. But this is because we were out of a website. If you have a brand new domain, this will be show completely blank. Okay. Now let's go to the live website. 
this is our live website you can see at the moment the page that shows here is the page that steve the product creator and donor using to uh, sell the resale rights to this product and what we need to do now to replace the page that we edited is click the refresh button and as you can see our site is now ready to start bringing the numbers and now if you scroll to the bottom where we add our paypal button is the image showing if i click on it takes us to paypal where then your viewer or customer can choose how do you want to pay you can pay paypal or you can pick up the card so there it goes i'm jose nunes thanks very much for watching these tutorials Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and not hesitate to contact Steve if you need any further help. Bye-bye for now.